going to look at our original FCS VIN system. So I've got a number of bits and pieces here which actually make up our VIN system. For starters, I'll, I'll talk about it again later under durability, but really what I want to talk about now in regard to FCS is the flex. So traditionally in the past, before fin systems were invented, we all used set fins, and the boards actually went really well. Then with the advent of fin systems, I thought, okay, I'll change to a fin system. And I was actually using futures. Now I don't want to actually say anything bad about futures, but the way our boards work and our particular construction technique Futures does not work as well as the original FCS. So anyway, I had this one magic board and it was at a period of time where everyone was using fin systems and I thought, yeah, fin system will be good, I can change my fins and experiment. But I had this one magic board and I thought, well, yeah, all right, I'll take my fins out, I'll put futures in. So it ended up, because the EPS is so soft, you can't just put a standard fin system in, so you have to run a reinforcement. And so what I actually did was I cut some holes in the bottom of my board, then I went and put some large blocks of a high density foam in, which is quite similar to this stuff, and then placed the fin system in. Then I went and made some fins which were identical to my set fins and I put them in. When I went and surfed the board again later, something had really changed. Like you could just feel the whole back of the board had just stiffened up and it just didn't have the same flex anymore. And so what had happened was, I'd done a couple of things. One was I had a long box or long foam insert which had a large footprint in the board, which was a stiff area. Second, because I tied the deck to the bottom by putting these blocks in and connecting right through to the deck of my board, it stopped the shear motion forward and back and it meant that the deck was now tied to the bottom through the fin system. So one, I had a large footprint which was stiffer and two, I stopped the shear motion in the board and stopped it from flexing. So then I concluded that fin systems work better in our boards. Then later on, or oh, probably what, 2004, I try to use FCS, of course you can't put a fin system straight in. So I come up with a new method where we use these high density foam inserts. So super hard, like this stuff's as hard as wood. Light, waterproof, hard. Now we set those into the EPS using the CNC machine for precision accuracy. Then you'll also see here that the plug fits so tight in there, there's no movement at all. When that's set in the board, there's actually a space there between these two high density inserts. So that as you go and place an FCS fin in the board, the board can actually still flex underneath the fin. And that's a real key factor to the original FCS fin system that no other fin systems have, is the fact that you've got independent spots that hold the board, or sorry, that hold the base of the fin, and that the plugs can actually flex underneath the fin. Now, a lot of people say, oh yeah, but the original fin system, it's not as strong. And the reason for that is because the foam that you're setting the plug into is weak. It's just, PU foam is so hopeless when it comes to its structural integrity. And EPS is the same. It doesn't have the strength to take a fin system unless you go and add an extra piece of high density foam. And so that's, that's the major reason we use the original FCS fin system is purely for performance. But the added advantage is with the way that we install it, you also get serious strength. 